Welcome to another episode of Comedy Way and Presents with me, your host, Valerie, and sometime co-host, Miss Purrington. We bring you articles and podcasts featuring the best in Austin comedy in all its shapes and formats. Started in 2016, the podcast project brings you funny people and their stories. As a fan, I like to delve into a comic's background and motivations and will usually take a detour along the way. Consider the interview a way for you to get to know the folks that make the Austin comedy scene one of the best in the country. Hello, welcome to Comedy Wham Live. Thank you for joining us. I'm going to keep my part brief because we want you to get an introduction to our featured guest tonight. Unlike our podcast, you get a treat because you actually get to watch a short set by our featured guest. So I want to introduce her without further ado. Uh, What you want to know is that she is basically the mastermind behind lastgas.org. So, you know, a little geeky knowledge there. But now we're going to get to the really juicy stuff. She is featured in the movie available on Amazon called Funniest, a great, great watch. She is the longtime host of Live at Cold Town, which is a, a theater up north. Yes, clap. Come on, Marcus. Leave the clap. Come on, come on. She just released her debut comedy album called Karina Has Issues. Who knows? Maybe you're going to hear something from the album. But if not, that's why you go listen to the album and download it and play it as often as you can. So without further ado, Comedy Wham presents Karina Magyar. Do you need to catch your breath again? Are you okay? No, I'm a professional. <laughs> uh, first of all, Karina, I have to thank you. Sure. Because uh, thank you. You just provided this for free. Yeah, I know, right? Because his parent didn't have to pay to have him come in. Oh, you mean a ticket to this show? Yeah. Okay, I thought you were going to some weird place where you can hire a tranny. <laughs> <laughs> to talk to your kids about gender reassignment surgery. <laughs> I was like, if that's a thing, like, is there an agency? No. Is that, is, does Wright Austin do that? Because I'll sign up for that. for everything. You no? Know? Okay. <laughs> well, for those of you that don't know, Karina was uh, one of our early guests on Com- Comedy Wham! the podcast back in 2016, May. Yeah. Karina, has anything changed in that? <laughs> I think you're looking at it. <laughs> I think I covered it pretty much, yeah. (laughs) You did a great job. Thank you. Uh, I I will say, one of my icebreaker questions during my podcast is, I don't know if you did your homework and re-listened. Do you want to know what your your, uh, one word to describe your past was? Do you want to come up with a fresh one, or do you... Yes, I didn't know there was homework. No. (laughs) Uh, A fresh one word to describe my past? Yeah. The whole thing? Do I get to pick an era? It's open to your interpretation. Was I this difficult of a guest two years ago, or was I more okay. I have a terrible accommodating? Memory. No, you were okay. very, you were very nice. One word to describe my past. I mean, great. I've had a great life. I had a really happy childhood, uh, which is, I know, contrary to what uh, is presented or is often talked about for transgender people, it's not that it wasn't without some really dysphoric moments that were kind of awful. Do you feel like because you, you've backed off of the, the magazine writing and, and the other professional writing that you've been able to really hone in on your, your comedic writing? Uh, I think it's more like this. I think it's more that I used to be an alcoholic. <laughs> and then I found heroin. <laughs> And uh, yeah, stand up comedy. Like the problem with being a writer is that you spend a lot of time and energy writing something, and then someone publishes it if you're very super lucky, and it worked. <laughs> well, speaking of feeling tortured, I decided to to uh, dip my toe and listen. And you know which one I chose to listen to? Lord of the Rings. Roxy Castillo and Schindler's oh, List. Oh, Schindler's <laughs> List. Schindler's <laughs> List. It's a comedy podcast. And the rules of my game dictated that at some point we had to watch Schindler's List. <laughs> and Roxy Castillo, for those of you that don't know, is like the light of, of the universe, happy person. Just... Extremely sensitive. 
She's yeah. extremely yeah. sensitive, <laughs> yes. emotional, emotive, empathetic it was person. Very palpable listening to that episode. God, she was. So, we are still <laughs> mad at each other for that one. But it's the most offensive episode that we've ever put out, and I'm still <laughs> proud of it. Were there any surprises for you along the way of this this creating this comedy album experience? Uh, yeah, uh, the, the the night of the recording, my babysitter didn't show up. <gasps> oh no. Yeah, we just re- uh, released because I wanted to do a review, kind of do the whole whole promo package. Uh-huh. So I wrote a review, and one of the things that I noticed about the the album overall, the feel that you get from it, is you you have the gradual crescendo and the the TSA transgender TSA mm-hmm. track is the one that like really gives you the powerful punch. <laughs> And then because you're so nice, you kind of ease us into the, the, the closing track. And the way I wrote the review is I said, you're, you're such a, a gifted and talented writer that y- you wanted to both creep us out in the best way possible, but also be really adorable about it. That is so nice of you uh (laughs) that implies so much more thought than actually went into that bit what's next what's what's on your oh i think you meant on this show and i was like i think we're done no uh, (laughs) oh what's next for me yeah (sighs) yeah i should have a goal well you wrote you wrote down the list this was the album was on your list and yeah the album was the list oh Uh, okay (laughs) (laughs) all right yeah let's wrap up Okay. One word to describe your future. (sighs) (laughs) Um, You know, I think uh, the one word I would like to to be able to say is fulfilling. I just, um, I'm really focused on fulfillment. Uh, I've done a lot to get my life aligned the way I want it to. And I just want to be able to be old and look back and say I had a fulfilling life. And I think that's why I do so many things, because, you know, maybe some of them I'll actually remember when I have dementia. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Tell us where we can find you on social media. Do yeah. you do your rigmarole of plugs and promotions? I do one thing now. I made it easy. KarinaMagyar.com. Everything's there. My Twitter, my Facebook, my book, my album. Yeah. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And thank you to my Comedy Wham partners in crime, Laura Smith, Richard Goodwin, and the child who got free sex education and transgender education tonight is mine. <laughs> So, so you already knew all this. Yay. Yeah. To good parenting. Yeah. <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed learning about how Karina got to be the comedic genius that you heard today just as much as I have. And uh, we're on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. We, our website is ComedyWham.com. And this has been Comedy Wham Live with Karina Magyar. I'm Valerie, and that's been funny. Thank you, Karina. Thank you. Yeah.